Are you willing to initiate force against taxpayers to make them underwrite your enforcement protocols? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. It's not so much the sellers that are the problem, it's the buyers and, and those people who create the problems. The sellers are just sitting back making money. Not all sellers are users themselves. A lot of them aren't. Is it your business what people are putting in their bodies? If it's, if it's again, well, just a plant? Well, it, it isn't just a plant. I don't believe it is. I work in the healthcare field, so I guess it becomes my business at a point when they become my patient. Are you willing to initiate force against taxpayers to make them underwrite your enforcement protocols? It's not about forcing, it's about what the community decides. They're going to be the ones voting on it. We're just going to be the ones that enforce the rules to protect the rest of the community from those decisions. Well, if I were a Palmer resident and I withheld taxes to protest this, you wouldn't come after me? Can I? Well, you personally might not be able to, but the town would. I don't know. I'd have to cross that bridge when I got there. Right now, there is no definite decision. And right, all we're doing today is discussing. We're not making any decisions right now. All right. Well, I appreciate you answering my tough questions. Relatively tough. Hi, See you in there. How are you? Good. Oh, it's good to see you. It will not be a really charming, better community anymore, and that will be gone forever. That's my biggest concern, and that's my biggest concern to the council. There was, uh, I, I, I agree with you. There was two stores in town, as you all know. One of them is gone. Okay, that store is was here closer to Palmer Lake Plover. My store, like I said, is three miles from here. I think that it will it will be. Uh, Flat how, how it is. There will be some additional traffic into the town. People are not going to drive. I mean, to, to get home late, that opportunity today is my point. Yes. It has always been a concern that we do not have any tax revenue to keep our town going. And I do not see why anyone would be worried about a little bit of traffic, since we have all seen the traffic that we have on 4th of July around here, would impact your life so negatively that the tax money isn't worth it. It, it makes no sense to, these, to me or to anyone else who really understands that we need the money and we should not be sending it to Pueblo or to Denver. We need to keep it in our own community where we need it. Thank you. I <clears throat> lived in Palmer Lake 10 years. I don't care if that number is $60,000 a day. We were a town long before recreational marijuana. I don't want it, period. I don't care what the tax benefits are. Yeah. And I, I agree on, on the with the, the revenue. I mean, at some point we need revenue, and the revenue gets here in vehicles. Whether if they're going to the villa or they're going to La Rosa, the money has to come in. We don't have enough people going to the local businesses that live in Palmer Lake to support all this. Not whether it's marijuana or ice cream, we need to figure out what that balance is. I'd like to address uh, you, sir, in the back for just a second. Uh, first responder people that went in to clear the homes and get the people out. They counted 121 illegal grows. I can show um, First of all, uh, just a quick question to Tara. The $6,000 that you claim is supposed to be coming to us every day is still going to be coming to us from the state. Isn't that what you're saying? No. 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 We don't get money. We don't sell. No. Unless you are. No, 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 no. Okay. Jane? Um, my big thing is people need to vote. Uh, my understanding is that the last election that was not well attended, so push people to vote and then whatever happens, happens. That's the way our country works. Yep. So vote, tell your people to vote, and then hopefully you'll get your, what you want. If you don't, that's life. Two states are putting this on the ballot, on their ballots. 
Once 48, no, what? I mean, not 30, 18 states are putting it on their ballot coming up. Once 32 states approve it, it is federal law. I, in my heart, believe it's here. It's not going to go away. It's, I mean, for whatever reason, I think it's going to be like, you know, the days of prohibition. I mean, I can't see that this isn't going to be a federal law at some point. Nope, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.